ever password protected a worksheet or a workbook and then gone back to it and realized you've completely forgotten your password or maybe you're trying to get into another workbook that you've never had the password to i won't ask why i'm just going to show you how to get in completely bypassing the password quick recap before we start on the basics of worksheet and workbook protection by default in excel everything is open so i can click in any cells and i can just type over the top of it if you right click on any cell and click on format cells you'll see that there's a protection option over to the right and by default that is set to locked now that doesn't mean that the cell is locked yet to then make that take effect we have to click on protect sheet and we can put a password in or we can just protect it without a password if i put a password in one two three hit enter and then it'll ask me to enter it again just to confirm as you would with any new password one two three hit enter now if i try and go into this cell i get a warning saying it's protected i can't edit it now normal normally in normal circumstances i would just do unprotect sheet type my password in again hit enter and then i can go back in and edit this cell but if i've forgotten that password i can't do that anymore and that's a bit of a problem that's the worksheet as for workbook protection it stops you when you've got protection on doing things like right clicking down here and clicking unhide and seeing all of the other sheets that are in this workbook if i click cancel on there i'm going to click on protect workbook type our password one two three hit enter again confirmation one two three hit enter if i right click now the unhide option isn't there the only way of getting out of that in normal circumstances is remembering your password. So if you forgot it, you're knackered. I'm going to show you how to get through it without having the password at all. So this is actually a bit of a hack. So it's not actually a function of Excel. In fact, it's something done outside of Excel. So what you need to do is close your file and then browse to the location that it is stored in. And then we need to click on view in Windows Explorer and make sure that you've got this file name extensions box ticked. That allows me to see the file extension afterwards, so in this case .xlsx. Now because this is a bit risky, it's not risky, it's not going to blow your computer up, but it could corrupt the file and then you're in an even worse position than not knowing the password. So take a copy of the file to start with. Copy it, paste it in the same location, and this time what we want to do is rename it. And now where we've got the file extension at the end, we've got .xlsx probably. Get rid of all of those and type .zip hit enter it will say are you sure you want to change it because the file could become unusable which is a risk but not if we've got a copy hit yes and now we've got a zipped up version of the file this time when i click on the file it's not going to treat it like an excel file instead it's going to treat it like a zipped up folder with all the contents of the file below it if i double click on here you can see in there i've got a number of folders and some files and each of these folders have the contents of what makes up that excel file if we go back a stage click extract all and then extract back to the location we're in close that back down and then go back to my folder you can see i've got my zipped version my original and now an unzipped version of that folder in there as well so the first thing we're going to do is remove the workbook protection it's a lot easier than removing the sheet protection you'll see why in a minute so we want to open up our unzipped folder and then go into the xl folder and then open up this workbook.xml file it's going to ask you what you want to open it with go for notepad you should have that on your computer and then you'll see this scary looking file don't worry about all the complexity you don't need to know or understand any of that i don't understand most of it and then we want to go into edit find and just move this window out the way and then type prot for protection click find next and it should find this line of code here it says workbook protection and we're looking for this uh, less than sign then it says workbook protection and what we're trying to find is the bit where we get a close um, tag as it's called so this is called an open tag and we're looking for a close so that will be where it's the greater than sign on this line so i'm following it across looking for a greater than sign and there we go We've got a forward slash greater than which means it's a close tag that bit there is the bit that is locking this workbook if we hit backspace or delete that's gone all we've got to do now is save it close it and then that is protection gone from that workbook and we'll test it in a minute so to unlock sheets it's a little bit more tricky we need to go back into here into our excel folder and then into worksheets folder this time now you've got five different worksheets listed as these xml um, type files none of them say dashboard which is the name of our sheet that's got protection on it it is one of them and we need to find excel's link to which one that is and the correlation between the name sheet one sheet two etc and what we've actually called it in the workbook because this is the sort of raw format it's labeled them in a numerical order and not by the name that we've given it 
but we can find out which one's which. And to do that, if you go back up to here and into our Excel folder again, into the workbook.xml uh, file, open it again with notepad. Again, we wanna do a control F to get find. And now we're gonna look for name. If I click find next, you'll see that I've got app name here. It's not that one. Find next and we get sheet space name. Find next, we've got sheet space name. After sheet space name, in all cases, we've got equals and then what the actual worksheet is called in our workbook. We're looking for the one called dashboard. So we're gonna keep clicking through sheet name 2017. Next one is 2016. And the next one, there we go, dashboard. Now what we're looking for is not this sheet ID that comes straight after it, but this R ID. So our one is R ID five, and five refers to the worksheet in that view we were just looking at a minute ago. So we want sheet5.xml. Now we know it's sheet five, we can go back through here into Excel, into worksheets, and then open sheet5.xml with notepad. And then what we're looking for in here again is protection. So we wanna do control F, and then type prot or protection if you want to type the full word hit find next and down here we've spotted it so we've got the opening tag the less than symbol and we're going to scroll through until we find the closing tag there it is so we've got the slash and then the closing tag which is greater than symbol highlight the whole lot press delete and then just file save and close that for this final part i've just put two windows explorer windows next to each other so i can show you um, in a more easy way so we want to open up the unzipped version on the left and the zipped version on the right again we want to open the excel folder on the left and the excel folder on the right and we want to drop from the unzipped folder where we've made the change and stripped out the protection line and we want to drop it straight back into the zip file copy and replace and then we want to do the same with the worksheets one. So sheet five, open up worksheets over here, drop that in, copy and replace. Okay, now we can close this uh, window down. So we've just got one window open, uh, go back to the top, and now we can change the zip back to, so right click, rename, and then get rid of .zip and have .xlsx, hit enter. And then if we open that up, we should find that we can click and edit everything. And if we right click, unhide, we've got the workbook protection off so we can uh, edit the workbook as well. Just to prove that 100%, let's go back into our original and we can see that that is still locked and the workbook is also still locked.